cross-section of arteries and veins as viewed through a microscope. You will have a look at arteries and veins using a microscope in the lab. You need to be able to recognise the different tissues that make up an artery and vein and also relate the tissues to the function. Preferably you would have made notes on the structure of blood vessels by now and completed the handout. You should also have a picture of the following slide which you can add labels to as you view this PowerPoint. What you're looking at now is a cross section of an artery and a slide. Do you think you can tell which one is the artery and which one is the vein? Think about the function of both vessels. Which one would you expect to have a thicker wall? The top vessel is the artery. It's got by far a thicker wall to withstand the great pressures. And the bottom one is the vein. The space in the middle, the clear space, has a name. By now, hopefully if you are you have identified it as the lumen. This is what the blood, whether it's oxygenated or deoxygenated, will be passing through. Look closely at the walls of both vessels. You can see the three distinct layers. The outer layer is called the tunica externa. You need to find out which tissues it composes of. Collagen, smooth muscle or elastic fibres. That needs to be in your handout and you need to commit that to memory. Then you can distinctly see the next layer, which is called the tunica media. Again, find out, if you haven't done so already, whether there are collagen fibres there, elastic fibres, or smooth muscle. And finally, although it's not the most obvious because it's very thin, a single layer of cells is the tunica intima, also known as the endothelium. It's a smooth layer of cells to reduce friction. But note the difference between the artery and the vein. What do you notice? If you look carefully, in some cross sections of artery, the endothelium is folded, not in a vein. So that's another way of telling the difference between an artery and a vein. It has a folded endothelium. I'll leave you with this question. Can you think of a reason why sometimes the endothelium of the artery appears folded? This is the end of the PowerPoint. Make sure you have labelled your diagram and hopefully when you look at the artery and the vein down the microscope you'll be able to instantly recognise the tissues.